What's up everybody, Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm gonna take a look at one tonight from one of our local breweries here, Urban Artifact. And this is their Pinwheel, which is a Comquat Gauche. Comes in at 4.5% ABV, 12 IBU. They just started canning, I believe, just over really the last year or so. The one thing I would say that's not on here that I would recommend for them is to have a date. It does not have that listed here. They do tell you the best temperature is at 40 degrees to drink this. And it gives you the ABV type information. But yeah, a date would be the only thing that I would say to uh, also put on here. But the can, I think it's a pretty cool design. On the front it says, just as the virtue of perseverance is taught in martial arts, a pinwheel symbolizes turning your luck around. Be prosperous, enjoy a pinwheel. So there you have it. Let's get it open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. Well, the beer itself's got a little bit of a, well, I say a little bit, it's got a good amount of a haze on there, as you can see, but it has a softer orange yellow type color. Get a light behind it. I can get some of the carbonation taking place right underneath that haze, but I'm not seeing through to the other side, so you're not getting a lot of clarity. Like most ghosts, the head dissipated rather quickly. Didn't last too long at all. Came out just about a little under a finger and it's already gone. As far as the aroma, you definitely get some of that fragrance, fragrance, <laughs> fragrance you expect to get from a ghost. You can kind of pick up the kind of that saltiness that you expect to get in this type of beer. Getting some of the tart action coming out with some of the flavors and the notes. Definitely picking up a little bit of that tropical and citrus feel as well as far as the taste. Well, it hits the tongue nicely. Not too much of a sting up front. Um, it's kind of got a nice refreshing quality to it. Not really dry on the back end, but that refreshing quality you will want like on a warmer type day is definitely there as you have with many other gauches. Carbonation is really tempered down on this, not too heavy at all goes down pretty easy on the throat. You do have that little bit of a tartness in there. It does leave a little bit of a aftertaste there with the fruitiness, uh, with the kumquat, and also a little bit of that saltiness. But this is why this kind of beer, this type of style, is also good with some of your saltier type foods when you're trying to pair it up because they do blend together very well. It's almost got the essence of like a flat soda and how it's actually tasting. It's got, it's, it's got the flavors in there. Uh, and, and it's just, it does get off the tongue, it does get in the cheeks, it does have an astringency with it um, that does make you want to pucker up a little bit because of the tartness. It does have a little bit of the funkiness, you do get some of the bread and the yeast off of this. Now Urban Artifact, they actually specialize in tart type beers, they do the wild yeast, they do the sour type beers. So that's kind of their specialty here in Cincinnati and they make all the different styles out of doing things along those lines. Which is great for them because that does give them a unique uh, offering in town and people do enjoy them for that. But the body on it, pretty much a lighter type body here. Texture, it's got a nice refreshing quality like I mentioned. A little bit of a smoothness, but yeah, if you're not a tart fan, you are going to get some of that tartness on the back, although it's not overly tart by any means. And you pick up everything I think you're supposed to pick up with this beer. So, all in all, for what it's supposed to do, I think it does represent the ghost style very nice. I do get some of the flavors out there. It does come together in a pretty good way. And it's one that uh, I can say if you want to kick back with a nice ghost type style, then you get Urban Artifact, especially if you're running the Cincinnati area. Pinwheel is definitely one to uh, check out. And I'm not sure how far they're distributing out now, but since they are canon, if you happen to see this anywhere, give it a go if you are a ghost fan. That all being said, thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Definitely appreciate it. I look forward to catching you up with the, on the next one and definitely appreciate your support with the channel. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.